Improving education through social media. That's the idea behind the website Edmodo. And today they're holding a virtual conference for teachers around the world. And joining us this morning in studio live is one of the presenters and a local teacher from Glengarry Elementary in Commerce. We're talking about Jennifer Bond. Jennifer, thanks for taking time to join us this morning. Well, I'm honored to be here. Thank you. Now, this is cutting edge. Teachers are always looking for a way to be at the top, to mm -hmm. teach kids the next generation, the technology. So I'm sure a lot of parents uh, are listening up right now. Social media is a good thing for teaching kids. Explain. Well, I don't think you have to be um, very observant to look around to notice that social media is everywhere. You can see children tuned in to texting and on YouTube. YouTube via their smartphones and what this allows is Edmodo allows mobile application to be learning on the go so it may look like a student's texting but maybe they're doing book club discussions or watching a video of a math lesson that they may have been absent for or collaborating for assignments with other students and it's just learning on the go in and outside of the classroom on a constant basis. So how does Edmodo work in regards, we, we know what Facebook is. Mm -hmm. Does it work like Facebook and who can actually access Edmodo? It's very similar to Facebook in the way that um, you can post, you can upload videos, you can embed um, websites and it's um, very interactive and on the go. Um, the posts that children do can be seen immediately and children can have those conversations just like you would on Facebook if everyone was on at the same time. And this way you can have conversations outside of the classroom for homework assignments that you may have missed. Um, but it also allows, like in Wald Lake, we have 14 elementaries and um, this year we're going to be networking all of the elementaries together. So as a third grade teacher, I may be doing a unit on fables and I can upload that unit and allow all of the other teachers in Wild Lake and actually even globally with Edmodo to also share. So, you so who has access to the site then? Is it just whoever signs up? Is it just the students, the teachers? Well, it's a very secure platform where you have a special group code. So I would create a code for my classroom and then sign up my children so I don't have to worry about anyone else coming into okay. that site. So it's my own little learning community. But then I could create a a site for all teachers and then whoever has access to that code can have access to those files, those videos, those links. So it really makes learning accessible and there's no real need to reinvent the wheel when you have so many educators that are willing to share and collaborate on um, wonderful education. So what's going on today with this? Well, it actually was yesterday. Okay. So it was all day yesterday globally that teachers um, from 50 states, 50 countries came together to talk about Edmodo in the classroom. Um, some of the founders, Nick Borg and Jeff O'Hara, they were on discussing where Edmodo is going to be going in the future. And there's so many great um, new features that are going to be added. And they really have the hearts um, of teachers in mind because they just constantly listen to us and add more features. I'm sure the kids love it as well. Yeah, and, it makes them feel like they're on Facebook since a lot of parents don't want their kids on Facebook. It's Edmodo.com, correct? Edmodo.com. Jennifer Bond, thank you so much. Continued success at Glengarry Elementary as well. Thank you very much. All right, Alicia.